one common feature of rail tracks, especially here in Lagos, is the gathering of people at designated points or terminals for the purpose of trading from Tejosho in Yaba to Oshodi and from Oshodi to Ikeja Long, which is just opposite the Mutala Muhammad International Airport, and then to Agege. These traders brave the odds despite the risk and dangers that trade in fairly used shoes, belts, bags, and clothes. Bus conductors are not let out of the party. They encroach on the rail tracks to woo passengers. And despite the hazards, the traders tell me this is their only source of survival. Me and Vigaz, we are going to INT, Polytechnic. Since that time, when I come out for school, do my HND, I never get work. And the geese, as they say, are the one who will survive for this country. They also present a list of demands, as well as allegations of compromise by government officials. Most of women, when we they work for here, we be widow. And Kai, they go just come. With no information, they go come destroy our market, carry our market, go. Maybe I help us do adjustments. Tell our government to help us, to plead, to help us. If we cannot be here, we know here is delicate, but let us relocate us a place that we can stay and have rest of mind. Please, we country. But in a swift response, the call marshal for the Lagos Environmental Sanitation Corps counters the allegations. She also puts the blame on the tables of the railway police officers. The railway corporation, they are not, they have not been supporting the agency. They have not been supporting the agency. Each time we come to, to arrest them, you see them coming to us and be soliciting for them that uh, it is, uh, the will say it's not our territory. In 2008, former Lagos governor, Mr. Babatunde Fashola, dislodged traders on the rail tracks at Oshodi. But now, they seem to be returned to status quo. Meanwhile, a lot more activities take place on the tracks. Some walk, beg, eat, and sleep on the tracks. And these children are learning fast as they can be seen playing on the rail tracks. The managing director of the Nigerian Railway Corporation, Mr. Fidet Okiria, is worried about the menace. We will try to fight it. But the more you fight it, the more they, they, they come back. I can remember when I was the district manager at Lagos, I took it up as a responsibility that we are clearing them as they come back. You remove their wear, you remove their, their tables. At the time, they have an in house carpenter as you are removing their making. Let's capture what happens when a train approaches these areas where commercial activities take place as a warning. The train blares its horns, prompting the traders to reluctantly move their goods to safety. But take a look at just how close the distance is between the train and these traders. And when the train passes, it's back to business as usual. But let's give you a 3D illustration of the train's movement and nearness to human activities. This distance is just about 10 inches, and that's about 0.254 meters. According to railway officials, the traders are so daring at Oshodi, Agege, and Abado as some stay as close as less than a meter from the train. Meanwhile, right of way of minimum 15 meters from the center of the track in section is the required international standard to be left with no human activities. It's a zone to be left virgin for safety reasons. In another illustration, for the standard gauge service, the design speed allowable from Lagos to Ibado is 150 kilometers per hour but that has been reduced to an operational speed of 80 kilometers per hour. And inside Lagos, due to massive human activities and proximity of the railway tracks, the speed has also been reduced to 30 kilometers per hour. NRC officials also say while approaching level crossings, it can be further reduced to 15 kilometers per hour. It is called the caution order. On the average, there are 10 train-related deaths in Nigeria annually, 
That's according to the NRC. But many think the figure is way higher. In South Africa, between April 1, 2018 and March 31 in 2019, nearly 300 people lost their lives after being hit by trains in SA's railway tracks. In Kenya, the country has seen a series of deadly train derailments. In 2019, 32 people were killed when a passenger train derailed. So this right here is a picture of the society we have created over the years. A situation where men and women from different parts of the country come to Lagos on a daily basis just to make ends meet. There's the question as to whether this risks and danger of trading on the tracks is justifiable, but there is also the question of the failure of successive leadership and governments. But one also wonders just when will abnormalities no longer be treated as normal. From the Oshodi area here in Lagos, Kelly Agiga reporting for Channels Television News.